there's a nick that you can't remember Taking your breath, stealing your mind And all of what's real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming from your mind and nature It's only this moment, don't care what can gather Your fever dream, can't you see, getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire
just the mirrors, they also had two daughters. Before you know it. Where are you going, Daddy? I'm going to create the greatest show the world has ever seen before. I know it'll be something that has never been seen before. Take care. We believe in you. Go, go, Daddy. We'll miss you. <laughs> Offering people fame and fortune. I need curiosities, oddities, amazing sights the world has ever seen before. The weirder, the better. Come one, come all. Do you want a vision? How about you, sir? You a dog? No offense, sir, but you'll be perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Who is that singing? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, she sounds unbelievable. Oh, that's just Letty Lutz. She wants a vision, though. Some might say she's got a face for a radio. You have to be in my show. I'll make you the star. Cloud, definitely come with me too. You'll be famous all around the world. People all across the world will know your names. Shows will be set out. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Barnum continued to hunt far and wide for performers to join in with the show. Word spreading, people are getting angry. Embarrassment, you're hurting our eyes. Don't make a fool of yourself. Go home where no one else can see you. I'll make sure they leave our streets. How dare you? Who are you to judge these people and throw things at them just because they're different to you? You have been treating these artists badly for far too long now, and I have had enough. Who are you? I am P.T. Barnum, and I am going to help these people. Now, all of you, go home. Go home to your families. You have been heckling them for far too long now. They'll show you. They'll show all of you. Ah, good luck then, they need a lot of help. Don't come crying to us when they will turn against you with all their anger and their weirdness. What do you mean you're going to help us? Yeah, no one ever helped us before. That's because they don't see what I see. I see a show, the greatest show. What? A show. We put together a performance to celebrate our talents and prove that being di different is not so terrible after all. People all across the world will know your names. Shows will be set out. So you want to put us on stage? You want us to show our faces and perform? So everyone can continue to laugh at us? Yes, but this time they will laugh with us because we will be funny, beautiful, and amazing. The audience will be in awe of all the amazing talents you have. I like it! <laughs> That means he likes it. Now all of you go home. Go home and have some rest. Tomorrow we have a big day. Why? What's going on? Tomorrow we start rehearsal. Yippee! Just when he was ready to give up, he heard a familiar voice in his head say, Come on, my love. You can do this. You're in charge. You've prepared for this moment your whole life. Don't give up, Daddy. You can do it. We believe in you. They're right. I can't let them down. I need to take control and make this the greatest show after all. Ow! Oh, here you're going. You're trying to hurt me? Me? You crashed into me first. No, you no, did. did. Yes, she did. That's it. I've had enough working with you all already. Constant arguing, it's our first practice. I'm not coming back ever again. But she didn't. Right, you did. What is going so on? Honestly. 
Sophie, it's like working with a group of crazy year five children. <laughs> it's not my fault she did it well, first. No, it's your fault. That's quite enough. I will see you all in my office in five minutes. Go! What do you think? Could you turn black, actually? Look at my arms and legs, and I've only got seven toes. How am I supposed to control these furry beasts? Oh no! Mm. I can see. I think one is jammed in between his teeth. Wait, I have an idea. Give me a second. I know exactly what you need. If only I could read. I can't! I just can't do this! I'm not strong enough! Are you okay? No, I'm really nervous and I can't be the strong cop for the moment you need. It's okay, calm down. Everyone gather around. So, nothing is really going to plan now, but I have some ideas to help you. Bearded, first thing. Oh. Brian decided to rally his troops. He spoke with each one of them one by one, pointing out how their imperfections could work to their favor. First, bearded lady. So I think you're not hairy enough. Look. No one needs to know. Just make it look good. Oh, wow. This is great. Thank you. Tallest man, you need to be taller. Try this. What a great idea! Anne, I love your pick hair. But let's make it really stand out. Amazing, thanks. And uh, mime, where is the mime? To stop you from talking, you must wear the string rehearsals. Mimes don't talk. <laughs> it's all coming together, my love. Tomorrow you'll knock their socks off with the talent and curiosity from across the world. So much so, they'll tell their friends about your, and family all about your show and hundreds will flood through your doors. I hope you're right. Camera. And I'm editor Susan Snitter of the New York Times. We flew in especially economy class, unfortunately. Oh, um, thank you for coming. So, what do you think? Great, huh? Barnum, arguably that was the most hideous thing we've ever seen. I thought we were coming to see something amazing, something spectacular. Well, we did. We saw a spectacular failure. Oh, well, good luck to you, Barnum. I'm not sure this will draw the crowds you're expecting when it hits the papers in the morning. Well, that was just terrible! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Don't worry, soon they will love you. So, so don't worry, it will get better. <laughs> Safe to say, he doesn't like his people. Barnum, just let us off stage. I'm not here to be humiliated. Trust me, soon they will love you. You really thought you could make a go of this, didn't you? I must admit, I came for a laugh. But oh my word, I was astounded by your audacity to believe you could make these creatures into a famous show. Ha, I admire your guts, but you're the joke, Barnum. But with just a quick glance in the direction of Anne, the beautiful trapeze artist, Carlyle had forgotten all about the heart of the show had just seen. 
What or who I have just seen has made Barnum's grand plan seem much better, enticing even. We're not over yet. We have many talented people, as you can obviously see. Let's talk. Let's, let's get a drink. Let's talk, Mr. Carlyle. I just need someone who, who knows people. Someone who has the money to help a struggling business. Maybe someone like you? of your profits will do. Well, it's intriguing, but to go would cost me greatly. So what percentage of the show would I be taking? Fair enough. You want a piece of all the action. I'll give you seven. We could shake and make it happen. I was born this morning. Eighteen would be just fine. You may as well just go ask for nickels on the diamond. Fifteen. I do eight. Twelve. Maybe nine. Ten. Well, looks like you've got yourself a junior partner. The cheers have turned into cheers, and the greater show is really starting to take off. That's wonderful. I knew you could do it. We don't come home soon, Daddy. Oh, well done, Daddy. I'm afraid we'll be away a while longer. We're traveling to America, city to city, place to place. People can't get enough of our talents. Just don't forget us. We'll be here waiting. Well, 
What if we rewrite the stars? Say we're made to be mine. Nothing can keep us apart. You're the one I was meant to find. <laughs>
The sophisticated star singers were the most beautiful and talented people he had ever seen. He thought of the fame and fortune the mold and quickly began to get carried away. Well, what did I say? We need them. They sound amazing. They all look beautiful. They definitely draw the crowds in. Carlisle, introduce them to me and get us backstage at the end of the show. Okay, go and join the party. Are you okay? <laughs> Weren't they amazing? Girls, can you believe it? With these singers on board, we, we could take our show all across Europe. Just remember what's important to you, Phineas. Remember where you came from. We built our whole life together. The girls and I need you. Let's just go home, Daddy. Come on, Barnum. You have ambitions to fulfill. Think about how amazing the show will be with the singers. I just need to convince them to join us.
and the plus of audience, the reunion series, Burnham, the star singers, and his world famous show, Return to New York. Everyone was feeling exhausted, and despite their success, motivation was at an all time low. Tragically, Burnham began to realize he wasn't living his childhood dream anymore. And Leo was given someone else to give, and then Mary died to be able to take it to Alabama. Barnum, I think you need to go home to your family. If you're not the man you used to be, we hardly recognize you anymore. You're born now. We all are. Being part of the show isn't for us. Perhaps you're right. I chased the lights and fame, but that's not what I set out to do. My friends and family need me, not hanging around with the upper class pretending to be someone I'm not. I'm so sorry. I never meant for that to happen. Fame and fortune got the better of me. We are family and I'm so proud of every single one of you. Paralyzer's dreams gone up in smoke. Will all the performers get out alive? Is this the end of the greatest show? Them three should go home before they get hurt. What were you getting? No one wants you here. Build and find some success. What you have done for these people deserves to be recognized. 
I appreciate it, but look at it. It's gone. Everything's gone.
from his family and his adoring fans, Barnum rebuilt his show from the ground up. Like a phoenix from the flames, gradually, the show he had always dreamed of came back to life. Once again, the circus their home was laughed, filled up with laughter and happiness. Every, fit, every face lit up Everyone, I have made my decision. It is time I watch my girls grow up. Yay, Daddy! Come home, Daddy. We love you. This makes me better than anything you've ever achieved, ever could. Carla, the show is now yours. I know you'll take care of my other family. It'd be an honor and a privilege. Thank <laughs> you.
the whole, well, through the whole year, but particularly through, through the last few weeks, residential transitions, performances, the way they supported each other, helped each other up, and it's just a wonderful group. So guys, you're amazing. I've had to 
to write this down because I don't want to forget anything. Okay. We've got dancers, mathematicians, scientists, gymnasts, singers, equestrians, footballers, poets, and much more. And I have to tell you, some of whom have competed nationally and won awards. So, are you feeling incredibly lucky to be taking this lovely lot with me next year? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. But well, one thing I can guarantee you and reassure you guys, if you do what you did today, you're never going to get to take Oh! That was absolutely incredible. I know you just said it before. But you have to do it your mind. When you guys came to transition just a couple of weeks ago, I was really excited to say it. I didn't see a huge amount of you. I didn't get to speak to some of you. But I listened to Miss Sweetin, and Miss Bird, and all the people saying, and I said, Mr. Rock, this group are going to be incredible. They have got so much talent, so much potential, so much curiosity that they're going to do great things. And so I feel really, really lucky to be becoming your head teacher next year, to be privileged enough to be able to support you and help you to achieve those great things that we all know that you're capable of. And that's what I thought just a couple of weeks ago after transition. I haven't seen that now. I haven't seen that teachers. Well, if that just blow me away. Can it we, really wasn't great. Can we you and I today. Yeah, because sometimes when year six go to secondary school, they stop talking to me. <laughs> they think they are big boys and girls and they walk through the corridors and I say good morning or afternoon. <laughs> so if any of this lovely lot do that to me next year, will you help me to tell them that they're not allowed to do it? Okay, yeah? yeah? Absolutely. Right, do you make a promise that you're always going to give me a hug and say bye to me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll hold you to that for yes, your time, guys. Uh, Mr. Esquire. Right, okay. Um, I think uh, you know, you've said a lot of performance. I'm not going to say again how brilliant you are. You just were absolutely outstanding. But as I was um, sitting there and thinking about the lessons that this show gives us, as I I love thinking about a message, something that they can take with them, something that you will think about. Obviously today the emotions are too much to be able to think and put your thoughts straight. But I was thinking about a few things. And I can't remember the name of the protagonist. Is it P.T. Barnum? Barnum. I've realised a few things. A few things. And one is that one in life has to take risks. This is crucial. Look what he did. He took risks. Despite all the criticism that he had. And that is my second piece of advice. Be ready to be criticized. This is important. Not as a negative, but to just look at it from different perspectives. Your life will be full of great things, but also criticism will come your way. Take it as a different point of view. Don't think this is all bad. Take the positive, eliminate the negative. But criticism is there. So number one, take risks. Number two, be ready to be criticized. Number three, and I believe one of the most important ones, human beings make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Again, the main protagonist took a different direction, then realized that it wasn't the way to go. And what happens? Everything ended up well. So remember that we all make mistakes. And we should be always ready to forgive. We shouldn't just be holding on to something that happened to us, our friend, and therefore we're not going to be friends anymore. Let's sit down talk and be ready to forgive. It's important. And the last message, the last message, is that obviously the dreaming that you talked about throughout the play was very important because one has to dream in order to imagine what the future is going to be like. But I do disagree with one part of the dreaming. I think dreaming is great. When we read a book, literature, the arts, it takes us somewhere where the real life cannot do. So dreaming is fantastic, but 
one piece of advice that I give you is accompany the dreaming with a bit of a plan for your life. A plan in your life will give you structure. It's a pathway. It's direction. It's a strategy. It's something that's going to take you somewhere. Because when something bad happens, if you have got a plan, then you will be able to take a direction in a different way. You'll be prepared to take the obstacles that come your way. So dream, but make sure that you accompany that with a plan and with a timeline to think, by this time when I'm in year seven, I want to accomplish X, Y, Z. Plans sometimes don't work out. Of course they don't. But you'll be better prepared to take a different direction the moment that something doesn't come the way that you have planned. So it's important. So ensure that you plan your plan. Otherwise, it will remain a dream. And dream sometimes is great, but make sure that you have got that in the direction. Finally, I always say this is the final thing and then I think of something else. <laughs> finally, finally. The shows, the performance, they also show us something very important. There is nothing, nothing that stands between you and happiness except yourself. You are the only one who can make a difference. Not anybody else. Your parents are there to guide you, your teachers are there to guide you, your friends will guide you. But as I said, nothing stands between you and happiness. You make the decision. So thank you everyone. You've done a wonderful show. Thank you parents for coming. And I would like to take this opportunity now to say thank you very much to a group of parents who have been at um, Aloha for, for a few years. They always have the big events. They're always there to ensure that our school is enriched with different things. And I would like to ask uh, members of the APS to stand. And there's very nice flowers there that Fatima Ms. Ross and Belen will bring to the front. Thank you. Please come out.